everyone. Welcome back to Poets and Quants' Must Reads, your quick digestible recap of the top business school news sponsored by Center Court, our virtual admission events. I'm your host, Christy Bleizepper, and I'll be highlighting the most important P and Q stories you might have missed. So let's get to it. Number one, best business schools for supply chain MBAs and specialized masters. Supply chain programs today are about more than trucking, shipping, and the physical side of getting goods around the globe. Digital transformation, sustainability, resilience, blockchain, all are the new essential elements of a good program, the kind employers want to hire graduates from. That's what the leadership at Marquette University's College of Business understands. Employers have taken notice, which is a big reason the small storied Midwestern B-School just saw the best year-to-year -year improvement in rankings of nearly all of a few dozen top USB schools. The ranking, Gartner's biennial list of the top 25 university supply chain graduate and undergraduate programs. You can find the full ranking and a peek into Marquette's secret sauce in our trending tab. Number two, the 100 best part-time MBA programs. There's a new winner atop U.S. News' annual ranking of part-time MBA programs, University of Chicago's Booth School of Business. Even as Booth and UC Berkeley Haas have swapped places in recent years in the ranking, the rest of the top five part-time programs remain the same as last year, and exactly as they have for seven years in a row. They are Northwestern Kellogg School of Management at third, NYU Stern School of Business at 4th, and UCLA Anderson School of Management in 5th. You can see the full ranking and our analysis of it in our homepage. Number three, ranking India's best business schools of 2024. This week, the National Institutional Ranking Framework released its ranking of 779 eligible management education programs in India. The ranking features a mix of school-supplied and third-party data based on five parameters, teaching, learning, and resources, research and professional practice, graduation outcomes, outreach and inclusivity, and perception. So which Indian business school came out on top? You can check out our story now on our homepage. Number four, our weekly roundup of news you can use. No matter where you are in your MBA journey, we bring several helpful stories for you this week. First up, three reasons to pursue an MBA in Europe right now. Find out why a European B-School should be on your short list in this story on our homepage. Next, how to highlight growth in your MBA application. This article explores vital success factors that will get you noticed, and you can find it in our admissions hub. Finally, 2024-2025 MBA application deadlines. This guide has all the relevant dates and deadlines from rounds one and two, interviews and decisions for the top business schools in the world. You can find it in our admissions hub. And that's it for this week's Must Reads Recap. I also want to alert school seekers to our events tab from our main menu. There you'll find all the upcoming admission events for a range of degrees and programs, including full-time and online MBAs, specialized masters, entrepreneurship, and more. Registration is free. Again, I'm Christy Bleizepper, and you can join me next week right here for a recap of what's important in the world of business education. Thanks for listening.